welcome back programmers in the today's section we are gonna see how you can create your own user registration form using Django and with the help of this user registration form you can create sign in and sign up option in your website so let's begin I created one project named main project so this is my main project you can see in here and in this main project I created the main app which is my home page so this is my home page 127.0.0.1 local address and in this main project I created two app the first one is main app the second one is account main app is basically my home page and in the account I created two templates login HTML and register HTML and in the URLs you can see this is the main project URL whenever user create the account link like this so it is gonna call my account app and directly it is gonna call the home page you can see this main app which is my home page and this is my account URLs register and login but in the today's session we are gonna just focus on register how you can create the register form in Django so if you don't like front end if you don't know HTML CSS so user provide you a inbuilt registration form which contains username password password reconfiguration and a lots of facility so if you wanna use the Django's inbuilt form so you can do it but if you wanna create your custom you can do it too but in the today's section we are gonna use Django's inbuilt form inbuilt user creation form so let's begin I'm gonna open views.py so this is my views.py the register and the login we are gonna focus today register so in this register function I am returning render which is the request and the register.html so this is my register.html and in here I'm gonna pass the register only text so let's try in here so when I say account and register you can see I'm seeing this text which is register so we are gonna use the Django's inbuilt form so let's begin you have to import this package which is from Django.contrib.auth.forms import user creation form I'm gonna put this line in the description you can check it out with the use of this user creation form we are gonna create the user creation form so let's begin I'm gonna create the instant of form which is user creation form again in build form so you can see I just created the form now I'm gonna pass this form in my HTML tag and to do that I have to create the dictionary so I'm gonna name it form you can name it anything you want and pass the this form in here I'm gonna pass this form in here so Django can create form now with the use of this form I'm gonna create the first I'm gonna go in the register.html and then I'm gonna go in here and we have to create the form tag because we are using form so we have to use form and you can pass the method equal to post and get we got two method post and get because we are using the register so we have to pass the post method which is very safe and then we are gonna simply use this form in here we are gonna call this form which is the inbuilt registration form so we are gonna simply just go in here and pass the form form in here now let's see this form you can see it automatically creates the register form username password and password configuration but we have to create our submit button so let's try so just go in here and input create the input type equal to submit value equal to you can name it anything I'm gonna click create the register you can see I got this register button in here so whenever I click this register it has to redirect in something so let's try so I'm gonna go in here views.py now because I am creating the user register form so I have to create the database so we can store that user in somewhere so don't worry because Django has its own ill built database now where is it you have to create the super user and for that just write python manage.py make migration and python manage.py migrate and then the last one is python manage.py create super user and enter your user id and password so just go in here in the admin section and in the user you can see 
your own name now whenever we save this account so it is automatically gonna save in here now if you are thinking why in here so don't worry because your account is the admin account and other are not admin account so let's try if we want to save this user detail in our admin section so first we have to do is we have to check if the method equal to equal to post or not if method which method request dot method now if request dot method equal to equal to post so what we are gonna do we are gonna create the empty sorry non empty form which is user creation form and we are gonna pass the request dot post which is users details so if we add username equal to login 1234 and password equal to some password so it is gonna store in here now Django is gonna check is this password or username is real or is he, or it is available in database if it is available in database so it is gonna say username and password is already exist and if password is lesser than 8 characters so it is gonna say password must be more than 8 character and so on so it is gonna show some error so how we are gonna do this simply just do is if form dot is valid we are gonna use the is valid function if password and the username is valid it means a unique username and password valid password a valid username so what we are gonna do we are gonna save that data with form dot save method and we are gonna log in the user now we have to redirect user in somewhere and for that just return redirect so I'm gonna redirect my user into login so I'm gonna just add the login now which is this login so if I go in my urls.py you can see login is my name which is the views.login and in the views.login I just pass the login.html now login.html is nothing but just a login text so if we got login text it means we successfully saved the user but what if the method is not a post method what if the method is the get method now if you don't know what is get and post just check out my previous video the link is in the description so just pass the else we are gonna create the empty form form equal to user creation form but empty there's nothing in here so user are gonna add his detail again and again if the method equal to equal to get but what if the method equal to equal to post it is gonna just go in here create the form and then save we are gonna save these details and redirect in the login now let's try now this is my register area and i'm gonna pass the wrong username and password you can see in here the requirement is your password can be too similar to your other personal information and so on so let's try this error first i'm gonna add the username equal to all in one and then i'm gonna try the password one two three and one two three only so let's try it is giving us a error or not let's try oops we forget something because we are using the post method so we have to add the crf token csrf token the html let's try again so whenever i click enter oops i forgot to reload the server now you can see i got the error the error is this password is too short it must contain at least eight character this password is too common and this password is entirely numeric so that's the django magic that's the power of django without any effort you can create your own form now let's add the correct input now i'm gonna add the all-in-one 6969 so this is the eight character and this is not the common password too so let's try register the password is too similar to this username okay so let's try one two three six five four a b c now let's try now you can see it is successfully redirecting me to the login templates which is my login.html and when i go in here and reload this url you see i got the all in one username which i just entered so you can see the staff status it is not a admin 
so whenever I go in here and you can see all of this detail even you can add the first name and last name and email address and so on so even you can see the date of joined so it means you can see all of these details except the password so where is the password so that's the magic of Django you can see the password of user so this is the very secure and very easy way to create the user register form now if you are thinking I don't need this form I don't like this form because this is very simple this is just an HTML there's no CSS there's no JavaScript so don't worry in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how you can use your own form to create the user registration this is just an example in the next video we are gonna see how you can sign in in your website it means we are gonna create the login function to login the user so that is it for today's guys if you just like this video just like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video to other programmer, hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video. If you like this video, just comment me what you wanna see next. Next two video, I'm gonna talk about how to sign in and how to create the custom form. So that is it for today's guys. See you guys in the next video. Till then. Bye.